Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Hey, today is all about thin versus thick burgers. Which one is best? You guys watch this. We all know the popularity of a smash burger, but there's a problem with some of the people that have this notion or this idea that you should never smash a burger. Why would you smash a burger? You create a dry burger. The only way to have a burger is thick. Um, it's a cardinal sin to smash a burger, although kind of correct is completely wrong. I know. Bear, bear with me. Your meat here, here we go right here. Okay. So this is a standard, what I would call a thick burger. So this is six ounces and these are two, three ounce balls. Okay. This burger right here has absolutely no idea how thick or thin it is. Okay. What happens culinarily wise is once it's on the griddle, what happens? When you smash it, you create a Maillard reaction, which is that deep brown coloring that we get, okay? With a thick burger, if you're gonna cook the thick burger and then flip it and then smash it, of course, you're smashing all the juice out of it. But if you smash the burger before it starts cooking, it does not know it's been smashed or not smashed. So that's where the problem is. If you smash it ahead of time on the griddle or before you put it on the griddle and let it cook, that's how you get a juicy smash burger. So today is all about the fuss. Never smash a burger or go ahead and smash it and see what happens. You guys ready? Let's go. All right, we got the Traeger Flat Rock heating up nicely. Today is all about simple. Very, 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 very simple. We just got some brioche buns. Like I said, we got a six ounce patty, just hand formed three ounce patties that we're gonna double stack. We're just gonna put some, uh, some, mayonnaise, I mean, some mayonnaise and some pickle and some American cheese, both uh, white and yellow, okay? Let me introduce to you the Smash That Seasoning. So this is the first video we've ever done. If you guys are interested, you guys can check out theflattopking.com. It's where we will have that and of course, shake that, okay? When we developed this, it's not, um, it's not salt forward, okay? We wanted to enhance the beef flavor we don't ever think that the flavor should be changing we always like the idea of enhancing the flavor so it's got that good charcoal slash smoky slash beef flavor and you can use more of it than you would think but all it does is enhance the flavor and we think of course we think it is fantastic all right let's go very easy we'll start toasting our buns we can pick up some of that grease once it starts I'm gonna put the burger on there without the seasoning first, and we're gonna start cooking this. Okay. Now, typically we like our beef about 120 to 122, somewhere through there. A little bit like on the rare to medium rare, but with a burger, we're gonna hit about 130 to 135, somewhere through there. You can always use a dome, especially using thick burgers. Once you flip it, I would encourage you to wait until you do the first flip. That way the exterior stays a little bit drier. So when you flip it, you can get that crust, okay? So we're gonna do that. We're going to wait, like I said, to add those other two patties down. All right, the burger's been on there for quite a while. I'm just gonna let it flip, okay? Come back in, hit a little bit more of that seasoning. Now I want this video to be about thick versus thin. This has absolutely nothing to do with whether or not we added onions on the griddle or no onions. Where is our toppings at? Why'd you add this? Why'd you add that? It's about the juiciness of a thin versus thick and does it matter? I'm gonna go ahead and dome it. That burger is just about done. I'm gonna top it with two pieces of cheese and just let that kind of melt right there over here we got our three ounce patties we have our parchment paper and our handy dandy press both of these are going to be listed in the description below hold it for 10 seconds of course you gotta sprinkle some of that smash that on there. Who smells good.
Nice crust. Nice crust. White and yellow. Take that off the heat. Just let that meat rest just a couple seconds before we put it on the bun. All right, while our meat's resting, both of them are going to get dressed the same. Thick burger. Double smash. All right, moment of truth. Just cut this open. Same thing with this. Burger versus thick burger. Of course, you can see how juicy it is. <sighs> and what do you know? Juices, the same spot, the same place, everywhere. So, can you have a juicy smash burger? Absolutely. Is it a cardinal sin to smash a smash burger? Absolutely not. But what you get is more surface area to the bite. With that Maillard reaction, you get double of everything. More seasoning, more Maillard reaction, and it's fantastic. But more, more we gotta, flavor, I but think. we gotta taste it. Yep. Okay, we gotta taste I it. I mean, I don't need to taste it. I know I'm picking a smash burger every time. Mm. Let mm. me try, let me try. Mm. I know one thing. Mm. That dang seasoning. Mm. Mm. Right? Mm. Mm -hmm. Done right. Simply mm. dressed. You get all the flavors. The cheese to meat ratio is on point. We're not saying you can't have a thick burger. Just don't say that smash burgers suck and the only way to have a burger is a thick burger. And if you smash a burger, then you're doing a cardinal sin. It's just not true. Although that burger looks good too, babe. Yeah. <laughs> mm. uh, sometimes I think it's more about who makes it. <laughs> Then if it's thick or thin. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. I just think you get a little bit of deeper of a flavor with a smash burger combo. I do think it's important how you cook it. But the juicy thick burger is just like it is. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. So this is more for the people that just absolutely loathe the idea of smashing a burger. It's important when you smash the burger. Guys, don't forget we have that seasoning for sale. You can check it out on theflattopking.com. You guys check that join button out. It's a membership program. We thank each and every one of you for taking time for doing so. Check us out on The Griddle Group on Facebook. We talk about griddles, smash burgers, thick burgers, seasonings, smokers, you name it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. Peace. Mm, time to eat. God, they're both fantastic, honey.